Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the DVD drive is missing on your Windows computer. So if you go underneath this computer, my PC, and you do not see the DVD drive, well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Star menu, type in CMD. Best result should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it. So I want you guys to copy the command from the description of my video. It starts with reg.exe add and go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and then select paste to paste it in. It should say the operation completed successfully. I would suggest restarting your computer at this time and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can try if you just installed a DVD or optical drive or some sort of drive, maybe an external USB connected DVD drive, um, you want to make sure it's connected properly. Just make sure it's tight in the port. Try a different port if the one USB port is not working properly. And just see again that could potentially be a USB related issue. Another thing you can try if you're still having a problem is run an SFC check disk scan. So you can run an SFC system file checker utility scan. And we're going to do that. So type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter and keyboard to begin running the scan. It will take a couple minutes to run so please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repair them. And then what we want to do at this point would be to close out of here and go ahead and restart our device. So make sure you close and save out of any open programs before you do this. And then go ahead and restart your device here. There you go guys, pretty simple. So as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz up to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.